on the move, a different landscape. So here next to uh, Agen, uh, Tour des Temples, the tower of the, uh, the Templars in uh, Gimbred. Here it says to Tour des Temples. Well, let's have a look. So here it is, the Tower of the Templars. I wonder what's all around here. It's a nice little picnic area. So here are quite some foundations here. Down there there's a lake, the Templars Lake. And here's a big hole. Big hole. You see the water down there. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> so they used to hide things here in the in these wells, you know. So only the tower is left of it all. There must have been a castle here uh, with a well, with a big hole in the middle. So this tower is the only part of the castle left. Templar's castle. So it must have been a big castle. So when the uh, when the Templars moved out to Switzerland, now they let it all here, and the people around they took all the stones. That's why there's not much left and built houses with. You know, I wonder why they left this. It must have been difficult to take it all down. Maybe one big tower and the rest was lower. So the lower parts, like here, the, you see the foundations everywhere. Uh, they just carry it down the hill, like here the foundations of the rest. They just carry it down the hill and made houses with it, eh? So that's why there's nothing more, not much left. But the whole thing, like here, is a foundation. And they went to Switzerland. There's only this left. This part they didn't carry it away. So the French king was right when he said the Knights Templars are all sodomists and Satanists. And that's why he tried to burn them all at the stakes in 1314 in Paris. And because he didn't succeed, the Homo Templars New World Order burned all our good women at the stakes instead later on. Because those witches, in between brackets, didn't want to collaborate with these homo Templars. And mind you, a normal hetero would never burn a woman. And this is why we have today all these perverts, homos, pedophiles and Satanists at the highest level of control, with thousands of children disappearing because of the homo Templars and the collaboration of the Swiss Alemannic tribe, who granted Switzerland as a hideout for Satan himself and his Templars, out of whom Freemasonry, Freemasonry rose. In our schools they taught us, of course, there is no Satan and it's all medieval superstition of some insane French king, who must have been paranoid, therefore. But look around today. Was the king really mad? Didn't he see it coming, trying to protect his people from, his ever, from this ever-growing evil? We have a Templar system today, who installed hierarchy, the internal Templar system and essence of sodomy, to dominate or to be dominated, to be on top or to be down, as in, as above, so below, or as above, so below. Being therefore, you need to comply and obey some homos in a police uniform today. 
the French king has been the only king who fought against the New World Order. Okay, he wanted to protect his old world order feudal system, but he did see the enormous Satanist danger coming by the Baphomet Templars, and in a way he was the first anti-New World Order activist 700 years ago, and he paid with his life for it. Just as today, truth warriors get suicided. Uh, or accidented, in spite of the fact, of course, he was a per-a, aristocratic, pharaonic master. No one else can rule the sheeple anyway, let's be honest. So the French king was the last real pharaoh, as in the French sun king, Le Roi Soleil, while the rest of all m monarchies collaborated with the Baphomet and became perverted New World Order whores in their useless constitutional monarchies under Templar rule. And um, so this is why, you know, in all these fraternities, you know, they practice sodomy to sort of, you know, love each other. And at the same time, through the body openings, um, the Baphomet comes in, the demon, or the devil, and um, so this is how this became a satanic order. Pharaohs, there it is, the Templar's Tower, part of an old castle, that's all that's left. Uh, over there was the Templar's Tower, somewhere, can't see it on the screen. And here are the Twin Towers. Nice. The Twin Towers. It's a nuclear, it's nuclear. Tower of the Templars, the Twin Towers, nuclear plant. Uh, look, it says Maison Blanche, it means the White House. Now, what do you know what kind of people this is, eh? It's right in the middle of nowhere. There's even a White House in the middle of nowhere. I tell you, they know exactly where they're from, you know. At least they advocate, you know, they advocate, you know, they, they like the White House and everything they do. So I got invited by a, a Welsh guy here in France. And what do I see? I see the Fascists, where the word fascism is from. Well, of course he didn't realize that. And um, so you see the concept of three here. One, three rings, two and three, because it's them, it's the hierarchy. And you find this in every parliament, in Washington, in, in France, uh, L'Elysée, the Senate, now it's in the French Senate, in Rome, and it is Roman, and it means unes per omnibus, omnes per uno, unes. So that means, one, you can snap one of these, one of these branches, you can easily snap it, I can do it with two fingers, like this, you know, tuck. but the whole bunch, you cannot break it. And this is the whole deal, you know, this is how they work. One for all, and all for one. Just like the basic Apaches, the ring, you know. They are a chain. A chain of command, or a chain, you know. What are you gonna do? You know, you're all alone, and ten homos in uniform, they, they pass by. There's nothing you can do, you know. This is how it works. Stupid humanity, eh? They are 6,000 years in advance on us. So, and then I saw this here, a brand of a, uh, uh, what is it, a washing machine. You see the square in green, and there's even another square in it. 
a little pyramid. What's left is left and it's like mirroring one side and the other. Well, quite obvious. Here's another pyramid almost. Why do they stick out the AA like this? The uh, microwave is called Phoenix. <laughs> it's everywhere you see these things, you know. Uh, here the three sixes here in it on top. And that's everywhere the G on the side there. Freemason G, there you go. Why did I do it, huh? There are three. Uh, might be a coincidence. Maybe not. Here too. Here's the basic apaches, the oval in it. Another pyramid in the logo. It's everywhere. We are their slaves and they put it everywhere, you know. So, this morning I had the choice between a, um, a Swiss Nestle cafe or make a jungle coffee, you know, with the real coffee, just so, which we did in the army, you know, just, just put the coffee in there and, you know, try not to swallow it all. It's better than Swiss coffee. I, I hate Swiss coffee. Uh, do you want me to tell me why? <laughs> so, as we all agree, this is one for all and all for one. That's Nazi stuff. The Nazis use this and it's an old parliament so we might all agree that the as this is Templar stuff that the Nazis they were the Nazi Templars and um, you know killing all the original national socialists who were a workers party and so Hitler he killed them all uh, in the night of the long knives in 1935 uh, the brown shirts, the uh, Sturmabteilung, and replace them all with the SS, all Templar stuff, you know, using this stuff, as Mussolini was already using this. Just as the word Nazi, it's not from National Zionism, as um, stupid people say. There's nothing to do with it, really. It's from, in Italian, you write the word Nazi with a, with a Z, a Z. So, like, nationalismo. And as Mussolini, who was two years in Switzerland, he was the first, you know, like in that era, starting with that business of fascism. Here's the fascism. Um, the Germans took it over, you know, writing Nazi with a Z, with a Z, with a Z. As in German, you write it with a T, just like in English, nationalism. So don't believe the Palestinian propaganda. It's disinfo. They're lying. You know, they want to... Um, mobilize the rest of the world so we all say solve their problems no. i don't have a problem with that but i have a problem that they are lying and they are taking away us away from the real enemy which is this the nazi templars right and so nazism is templar stuff here's the proof you know one for all and all for one and uh, everywhere used this symbol was everywhere used uh, during the Nazi era and we still see it today in all you know in all parliaments in Washington and all over so that means we are still in the Third Reich das Dritte Reich so and I hope it's not going to last another thousand years eh? das Tausendjährige Reich so you know go after the facts in my channel here I give the facts not some disinfo like uh, national Zionism. It's, it, 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 it doesn't fit. Yeah, it fits. You know, it's nicely fitting. Yeah, but um, it's disinfo. Disinformation. I've never been that near to a nuclear plant. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they can do this, you know, there's no smoke without fire. You see the smoke. They can do everything. We live in, a, in, an, in an era, they can do everything. Mind control, MK Ultra, you name it. And they're just lying. Everything is a lie. They're masters. So this is next to Ajah. 